Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome you know Wild Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the videos. When you read the Genome Wild Study related manuscript, you must see the table containing the information about each gene of the family like transcript ID, gene name chromosome number, its location on the chromosome, intron, exons in the gene, length in terms of amino acids, its molecular weight, PI value, and much more. In this video, we will discuss that how we prepare such type of table and from where we get the data. So, let's start. First, you open the Excel sheet and give the heading of each column like transcript ID, gene name, chromosome, location on the chromosome like its start and end position, a strand, CDS sequence term of base pair, protein length in term of amino acids, its molecular weight in kilodalton, PI, gravy, number of introns and exons present in the gene and its phytosome description. First we write the transcript ID of each gene. There are two ways. One is manually and other we can insert it through TB2. So we will try both. We can get these transcript ID from our protein sequence file that we have already downloaded. So open that protein sequence file, copy that transcript name and paste it into the Excel sheet in transcript ID column. Copy second name. And paste. You can enter manually one by one like this way. The other method we can do is through TB2. So for that purpose, select all, copy, open the TB tool, sequence toolkit, faster tool, faster to table convert. Sequence input, paste your sequence, faster to table, output text area, convert. Then select all, copy, open the Excel sheet and paste. Now you got the one column of transcript ID and other is the sequence. So you must delete this sequence and you have got the transcript all the transcript IDs. Now you will give these these transcript IDs with gene name. Like in this case I write solenum, lycoporsicum, heat shock protein 70 and give it as gene number 1. The second one solenum, lycoporsicum, heat shock protein 70, gene number 2. And give all these subscripts to gene name or simply select this and drag it. So each subscript ID called the gene name. Now write the chromosome number of each gene. It is very easy because in the transcript ID before G there is a number like in here in this case 0 1 is written here. It means it is located on one chromosome. This number is the chromosome number. In, in case of second transcript it is also 1. In third one one here you can see that before G 
the number is 2. It means it is located on chromosome number 2. After finishing this column, now we will find the location of each gene on the chromosome. It has start position and end position. And this information we will get from the phytosome. So, for that purpose, first we copy that HSP70 domain sequence. Repeat that the process that we have done in video 2 to download the protein sequences. Open the browser, type cytosomes in the Google, open the window, select species, blog search, paste, change into protein, go, Now you see that all genes in this list, but in our case we have discarded some genes and the list of these genes is not in sequence. Like this here is 10, 11, then 9. So make them in sequence. Click on deploy. So it will come in uh, arrangement like 1, 1, 1, then 2, 3, like this. So first we select our gene here see that which is, one is the first one first one is 1G09966.2 we can check that transcript ID in this list so here is this list this transcript ID 0996601 so place the cursor on G Right click, open in new tab. Now here is its location. So copy that number. It is its start point and this one is its end point. Copy, open that Excel sheet and save. Then this is friend that it is forward or reverse. So it is forward, copy this. Space. Now it's a cytosome description. So copy and put it into the cytosome description column. This is a CDS based pair protein and SLN. So also we can get it from this window. Here now click on sequence. This is our CDS sequence length is 2010. Right here. 2010 protein length in term of amino acid is 669. 669 fill this table like this way one by one now we open the second topic that is 01G 10 so check in this list that 01G 10 so also press the cursor on G, right click, open a new window. Copy that position of the gene. Paste. Forward. Set a long description.
you can see them. This is 2112 is PDF and 703 is protein. 2112 and 703. So you can do through, uh, by this method to fill this table, each column of this table. Now we can find the molecule, protein, molecular weight, PI and gravy of each protein sequence one by one. For that, you open the protein sequence file, copy the protein sequence of transcript one Open browser, write XPC for form in search and open this link that password. So from tool XPC, then paste your sequence and compute the parameters. Here you will see that the molecular weight of this gene is 74641. 74641. But it is in Dalton and here we write the kilo Dalton. So divide divided by thousand so it will be 74.641 kilo delta. Also, 5.36 is its PI value. Also, write it here 5.61. And gravy, scroll down so you will find it at the bottom. This is the Grand average of hydrophacicity gravity is minus 0 0.507. You can fill these information one by one of each gene through this way. Now, for this column, number of neutrons and exon, we can find this when we do the gene structure analysis. So keep it blank this time now. So, so following this procedure, you will be able to make this very important table of this study. Hopefully you will get the help from this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.